For this project, I am going to be using 120 grit sandpaper on the top of this laminate. Then on the bottom, I'm going to be using 220 grit sandpaper. After that, I will paint it, then follow up with some tests to see if actually sanding your laminate before you paint it actually helps it hold up and produces different results at the end. While I'm sanding that, let me tell you a little bit about what I did before. I had two other laminate boards just like this one. One of them I used a primer on, the other one I just used this cabinet and furniture paint. Then at the end I tested them to see if one of them held up better than the other. The results were about the same. The side where I used this primer first had a little bit more texture. The laminate, or excuse me, it's just cabinet and furniture paint that I used on the laminate board had just a smoother finish. Really, as far as how they held up, it was about equal. When I scratched it with my thumbnail or fingernail, I was able to get some of the paint off. And then again, when I used the paint can opener, basically a hard piece of metal to scratch it, the paint came off really easy as well. So once I finish up sanding this, we'll paint it, we'll let it dry, and then we'll test it again to see if the results are any different to see if it's actually harder to get that paint off. So will it be worth it to actually sand your laminate before you paint it? So here it is all sanded. We've got 120 on this side, 220 on this side. I'm gonna go right to this cabinet and furniture paint and I'm gonna do probably three coats just like I did in the other tests. Let it dry and then test it again. So here we are, it's actually been four weeks. So this has had plenty of time to dry. I've got my other two samples here. Let's go ahead and give them all the scratch tests now to see if sanding actually helps that paint stick to the laminate better. So again, I've got these two boards here. This one had, um, what was this one? This one was no primer. So no primer on this one. I can dig into it and scratch some off. This one did have the primer. I can dig into it and scratch some off. This one over here, the arrow points, 120 grit. So I can't get any there. This over here is the 220. I'm not getting anything there. And again, I am trying really hard. So I can get it here on these two samples. But over here, on the ones that I sanded, at least not with my thumbnail, I'm not able to get it off there. Now let's do something a little bit more persuasive here. Again, just a screwdriver here, a flathead screwdriver. Very easy, that comes off. Now, this is gonna you know, damage it, so that actually scratches into the laminate. So I don't wanna push that hard, because that's not fair, because trying to damage it's a little more aggressive. So that's just taken off the, the paint there, so. I'm just putting it at an angle here and trying to scratch the paint off there. So that comes off fairly easy. Now let's try that over here. Now it's actually <laughs> scratching the paint, but it's actually not coming off. So interesting. Doing the same thing here, again, the same pressure, I mean, you just have to take my word for it. I do promise you that I'm, I'm doing the same test on each. Um, I'm actually really impressed. I did not expect that. Um, that's really good to know um, because it's, it's scraping off the paint here, but it's not coming off in chunks like it is over here. It's just... So, so if I do that, like that's a good show right there, right? So I can get it off on over here, but it's not coming off on the other one. Huh. I mean, it's, it's drawing on it, right? Or it's scratching it, but it's not coming off there. Like I can scratch it off there, and then I'm doing the same pressure here. Ah, oh, there we go. So I got a little bit there but it doesn't come off the same. And again, I am pushing very hard. So, I mean, that's gonna be an extreme amount of force. And really, if you're trying to damage anything, you're gonna be able to damage it. So, very impressed with that, actually. 
Wow, I'm just really impressed by that. So for me, it is conclusive. Sand your laminate before you paint it. It's gonna give the paint something to stick to. It's gonna hold up a lot longer. It's gonna be much more durable and you'll be very happy that you did that. It's a little bit of extra work, but it will pay off in the end. So I did paint the laminate cabinets at my old house and I did sand the faces of those again with 220 grit sandpaper. Please feel free to check out that video next. So hopefully this was helpful. If you did find some value, please consider liking or subscribing to the channel. Again, my name is Drew Smith. I'll see you in the next one.